So, just another quick shot at the National People's Library. And this is an art theater that she mentioned was the nicest one until 1975. Right in front of here, there's the Fountain Park. And on that side of the fountain, you can see some of the newer buildings that were built only in 2012. Yeah, the guides are telling me it's very hard because most of the men are in the military until they're 30 here. So people get married later in Korea. And this is one of our guides told no. us this last time. Is it not true? Not no? True. <laughs> Hundred exhibition rooms showing the Korean history, Korean revolutionary history. And over there you can see the mosaic mirror that's showing the mount back to the mountain what I said, what I explained on the bus. Is there, is there a reason why the statue is in this spot? No, not there is no reason because it's a high spot. <laughs> because we wanna we wanna appear the teacher on the highest place. So this is on the dark side of the monument, away from the statues of the leaders. And here you can see some really, really life-size, uh, I think what they called graven images, of mostly soldiers on this side. I think there's supposed to be some workers and scholars over there in the background.
This is, and some days later we will celebrate the birthday of our prison Kim Il Sung. This is actually the place. Yeah, this actually this house. This is where he was born. So in 1940, in 1920s, when prison Kim Il Sung was born, there were 12, 20 houses like this one. So at that time, our country was occupied by the Japan. So people lived in such a straw saturated house. Very, not a good house. Yeah. But after the grandmother of prison Kim Il Sung passed away in 1958, we moved other houses to the near here, and we only Miss. lived at house. He was over 70, and even his grandson became a president of the country, but he keeps continued his farming in his land until he passed away. Do you know what are these four? So, four pocket, an apron for carrying something, and this one is hand room and spinning, uh, spinning wheel. Sorry, and this one is hand room. And this is the cutter for the food for the feed of the ox. And this is a straw mat. So this straw mat also made by the grandfather of prison chemism. And especially this long one was used by prison chemism too. So after 20 years later in 1945, after the liberation, prison chemism come back home. <coughs> to say more about him, he left his house when he was 14. And after that one, 20 years later, he come back home. At that time, his house was under repair. So the family members asked him to sleep in another house. But at that time, he said that it's okay for him. He slept on the bed leaves for over 20 years in the mountains. So he personally sprayed his long straw mat on the wet floor and slept together with his grandparents. So in the countryside, people carry the water from the well. Well is over there. So this water jar was. You can see the kitchen. So this is a farmer's house. Looks like a farmer would have slept up here members. on the upper level. But you can see and the, the ox would have slept in the lower level. And when you see this right side. from DPRK. But at the beginning of the 1990s, our country's economy comes back. So we can't 
keep the continue the construction of the building. So we finish it only the, the sculptures of the building. Yeah. Uh, but in from This is the Runyang Hotel, also known as the 105-story building. Up top, they said they were going to have three revolving restaurants. And I can't quite tell if those are external elevator shafts on the sides or not. So this is the inside of a building where Simon said there was going to be a really strange, interesting, or beautiful bar upstairs. And I can't quite figure out where exactly. But it is kind of a neat building in here so far. And I notice up there where it says First Credit Bank. Interesting, but it has the music from Black Walk Down at the beginning. It doesn't make any sense. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he can see, because actually, this person, person is quite a nice guy. He's very passionate, he's quite fun, he's quite fun. Um, but he is he all bit. year round. No, he's used for the buildings in, earlier that were built. He lives in um, Bangkok. Uh, he lives in Bangkok. Uh, see, part of that, you don't uh, think he was somewhere in China. Yeah, because like Tom, I, I think, guess. To be fair, the nice way, it's all good. That way is the Juche Tower, which might be a little bit hard to see. And over that way, there was Dongdaemun, which was a large gate down that street there. Uh, we probably need to catch up with the guides over there to tell us a little bit more what's uh, there at Kim Il Sung Square, where they've recently added a picture of Kim Jong Un as well. Docks down here are actually used to um, position where soldiers would stand on parade day. And uh, right behind me is the Museum of Art. And this is all right in front of Kim Il Sung Square, which is where most of those parades and things that go on TV happen. See, on this side over here, you have the um, building that has the North Korean flag on it, and over on this side, you have the one with the Juche flag on it. And uh, there's the um, big building of learning that has the big public library on the inside. All the way on the other side of it is where the Juche Tower is. And that's how I tend to orient myself here uh, around Kim Il-sung Square. to get a central shot at Kim Il-sung Square. Once again, I wanted to get the dots that looked like they were used to position marches for the large parades. It looks like there are many, many of them right here on the streets, uh, which is where they're trying to get televised. And there's Kim Il-sung Square right in front of us. saw the kids who were roller skating. Forgot the record. This is the foreign trade center over here. The building on this side is Agriculture and Education, and these two buildings on the side are the uh, Foreign Minister's offices. And on the top of the portraits there is the platform where the leaders would be standing when they're watching the parades or probably giving a uh, big speech. And 
I don't think the autofocus is really letting me look in very much, but there's not too much that you can see. It seems the prices of a few things in there are 81 or so for some of those bottles, but... I feel like I'm walking around the city more this time than I really got to do last time, which is quite nice. It's a much better way to experience buildings. you can see the, the maybe ladies and guys who wear the green jackets those are the guys from the KTC our company so if you have like any problems then you can ask them okay. you can so, get any help from them. so running up here yeah. yeah running up now we are driving on the running course the racing line I think some of the remarking places are wrong the map so it's a roughly, roughly map. Oh, okay. The first stop is Friendship Tower. And on your right side, you can see the road to go up there. Okay. This is the go to the first toilet shop, bathroom. Maybe you can see the sign. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the Romanian embassy over there, and I uh, can't see it because it's behind those uh, trees, but the Iranian embassy on the corner apparently has the only mosque in Pyongyang. And now we're going to go to dinner in this hot hot restaurant right here. Uh, pepper and um, chili powder. I'll order us some uh, red bean paste. That's the if it goes wrong, it doesn't taste good if you just put... So just wanted to take a quick video panorama of the Pyongyang skyline tonight. I know it never looks quite as good on screen as it does, certainly not in person, 
but I think even the video captures a bit better than a photo how eerily dark some parts of it can look. So the Juche Tower out there is definitely one of the bright spots there. And I think all the way in the background you still can't quite see the bridge that we're going to be running over in the marathon tomorrow.